There's a big problem in this country of affordable housing and trying to provide affordable housing, particularly in old industrial areas such as Accrington. And one of the challenges ahead is whether we build new houses or use the buildings we've already got. This particular project looks at using buildings that are already there, buildings of the industrial age, by renovating them and setting them up for, for rental purposes. So it's one of the many solutions that we can have. Today has been a fantastic day for students because we've um, gone on a field trip in Accrington. So we're talking about real life here, uh, real life projects and developments and real life issues when you're an architect. So this morning we went down to the Woodnut Regeneration Project which is pretty much unprecedented in the country because you've got a very, very difficult um, situation where you've got empty terraces which are uh, incredibly hard to refurbish on a budget but also very steep sites so it'd be very difficult to knock down and rebuild and we've been lucky enough to have the council um, come to talk to us about some of the issues they've had in getting development up and running and also the developer themselves, Place First, have been here to show us around the show homes. Inside the properties, brand new, there's going to be some reconfiguration, they'll be turning some two bedroom properties knocking two into one to make three bedroom properties or four bedroom properties. We're looking at people being able to save 50 to 60 percent on their heating bills. It's hugely important to give students um, knowledge and experience in real life issues that affect the north of England, in particular the North West. Because of the problems we've had with housing market renewal in the north of England and the surplus of two bed, two up, two down terraced housing, which is actually no longer fit for purpose, it is a hugely um, important um, area right now. So I think for me as, a, as an undergraduate architecture student, I think it's nice to come down to site, um, see different professionals in their, their particular roles and just get a little bit of a feel for, for something that you might normally put down on paper. Howarth Art Gallery is right uh, next to Woodnook. It's a listed building. As part of the gallery, there is a stable and motor house block which is very, very important from an English heritage point of view because they think it's one of the very few remaining buildings that um, housed domestic motor vehicle and horses for stables. So again, it's about showing the students um, a live project. Um, and what's really brilliant is we've got one of our current students actually working on it. So she's been able to come today to talk to the students about what she's doing in practice um, and what the project is about. So the other thing we've done today is to um, carry out a site appraisal on a cleared site which is owned by the Lancashire County Council so they've kindly given us the key to the site and I've run through with students what an architect and a developer would look for. So it's issues like um, access and highways, tree protection orders, slopes of site and the big thing which is boundaries. Bringing students out onto site to look at those projects which are less glamorous arguably but also more like the kind of work they're perhaps going to do in industry themselves gives them a the proper flavour of the challenges ahead and, and, and make them realise that in real life tackling these problems it has got multi, multifaceted and there are many things to approach and many things to tackle. Least of all as we found out today the weather 